Hello everyone, I'm Paul and welcome back to more Learn Swedish with me with the book Mol Et. We're at chapter 4, part 2, Skultar på stan. Now, I know for a fact that på stan means in the city. Fun fact, stad would be city and the city should be staden because stad is an N word. But they just shorten it to Stan. So Gamla Stan in Stockholm is the old city. However, what the hell does uh, Skiltar even mean? So let us do that. Uh, C I L T A R. Signs. Signs in the city. Mm. Righto. Um. Also, for, the, for those interested in Duolingo um, that aren't following my other series, uh, I finally went into uncharted territory and now I am, uh, just today, just before I started this, I am done with Unit 6 and tomorrow we'll be starting Unit 7. Oh boy. Fun stuff. I know, I know. Anyway, going back to Malet. So, now that we know that uh, we're talking about science in the city, Let's listen. Skyltar på stan A. Sida 92. Skyltar på stan. Skyltar? A. 1. Entré. Vad betyder det? Jag förstår inte. Det betyder ingång. Man går in här. Okej, okay, jag förstår. When you say jag förstår inte. You don't understand it. Or you literally can't hear it. So, entre, what does it mean? What betyder det? What betyder det means, what does it mean? I don't understand. It means entre, the uh, entry hall, entry. Let me move this quickly. <coughs> you go inside there. Okay, I understand. Två. Hur uttalas det här? Försäkringskassan. Kan du säga det en gång till, långsamt? Försäkringskassan. Försäkringskassan, tack. Så, so, uh, hur uttalas det här? How do you pronounce this here? So, you can pretty much expect that people like me that are learning Swedish uh, don't understand every single word yet. Uh, other ones asking the questions like what does this mean and how how do you s pronounce this so Försäkringskassan is probably uh, an insurance company but it could also be insurance uh, well, let's have a look see <laughs> Yeah, I sadly have to do it like this because getting uh, without the e rings sun insurance fund. So for seconding, I know that from the Dutch. Uh, Versäkring, it sounds a lot alike, so obviously my first thought would be like, oh, this is talking about insurance. So, uh, can you say that one more time, but slowly, langsamt? And that's the thing that I know about the Swedish. Um, if you show them that you're trying to speak Swedish, they will fly off the handle. So, stop them. Ursäkta. Langsamt. Langsamt. And they'll understand that you can follow it if they speak slowly. Such as my teacher, who is a Swedish person. Whenever she starts talking Swedish, I'm just like, okay. 
I'm not gonna follow this entirely. I, I'm, I may be able to follow like 25% of whatever she's saying, but... Oh boy. Such is the, the downside of having such a terrible vocabulary, because, you know, you're not following half of the conversation at all. <laughs> but that's how you learn. By the way, uh, so the third one. Three. Vad står det här? Stängt på grund av ombyggnad. Vad menar de? De bygger om affären, så den har stängt till den 25 oktober. Okej. Okay. Vad står det här då? So what does it say here? Vad står det här? What is it saying here? Uh, stängt på grund av ombyggnad. Det bygger om affären så det är stängt till. It's closed. Uh, on grounds of construction, perhaps. Let's have a look see. On big nut. Reconstruction. I was close. I was close. So because it's getting reconstructed, it's closed. Stanked Paul Grunt off. It's closed because of. Um, the bigger of my fadden. So they're building it. And that's why it's closed until the 25th of October. <sighs> Okay. Um, let's do B as well. And then we'll do the actual exercises. So. And uh skilled. -huh. Stone. Yeah. 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 This is what I was talking about. Stone equals star den. Which means the city. They just shorten it to stone. En entree, en ingang, mon. Um, now where did they say that? Ah. Mon gor i her. That's uh, right here. Mon gor i her. Um, in this case, mon would be just a generalization of people. Uh, in Dutch, we actually have a similar word to that, which is men. M-E-N. Which is shortened, is short for mensen. I guess we're also a bit lazy, just like the Swedish with the word the city. <laughs> we shortened mensen to men, just to talk about people in general. So that's why <coughs> it says here, like, Ja, du, han, hon, vi, ni, dom, eller, man. <laughs> In Utalas, which is, uh, how do you pronounce it? En försäkringskassa, en gång till. En gång till. Ah. Can you say that the en gång till? One more time. So I guess in Swedish, then that hugely famous and awesome song uh, from Daft Punk would be En gång till. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. Now I'm gonna be singing that every single time. Because in Spanish it would be Uno mas. And now I know it is Swedish. En gong til. <laughs> yeah. En gong is what a time in like uh, a process um, of like saying it. En gong. Another. So. Long sound means slowly. Po grunt off is on the grounds off. And on big not, we just saw that this reconstruction, manor is meaning, bigerum, um, building. So let's continue with uh, funny. I I 
This is the first time that I'm doing this. That I'm looking at the words and just like trying to translate them. I didn't do that yet. Bad Paul. <laughs> Bad Paul. You should have done that from the start. So I'm gonna do that from now on. <laughs> Okay, well, like I said at the very start, this is a learning experience for me as both a student and teacher in this case. Um, I'm also planning to switch up my setup uh, that this monitor down here, with, which currently has my camera, is going to switch over to my left. And then the monitor on the right, which I'm currently having the chat and OBS open and such, is going to move to the middle. Then the laptop that is currently closed here is going on my right side so that on the left monitor I can have the chat open and OBS open and uh, look over there for the chat rather than having to look over my microphone boom arm it's like what's who's saying that <laughs> and the silly thing is I've had this set up for since 2016 I think and I only now decide to change it because I'm so actively doing this so you can expect a little change in... Well, it, it's probably not going to really show up on your end, but it'll show up on my end for sure. Anyway, going back to the lesson, uh, let's uh, listen to Hyltar uh, Postan B. Sida 93. Hyltar Postan B. 1. BVC. Vad betyder det? Jag förstår inte. Det betyder barnavårdscentralen. Det... Barna... Na... Uh, vård... Centralen... Now, vårdcentralen, just like vård central, is a health center. So this is a youth or a ch children's health center. Det är en vårdcentral, speciellt för barn. Okej, okay, jag förstår. Två. Hur uttalas det här? Folktandvården. Kan du säga det en gång till? Långsamt. Folktandvården. Folktandvården. That would be a dentist. Tandvården uh, would be uh, um, like tooth health center. Because once again, vart central. So tooth health and folk tooth would be, uh, yeah, well. <laughs> so I'm guessing Folktandvården would be uh, a dentist. Folktandvården? Tack. 3. Vad står det här? Stängt på grund av ombyggnad. Tillfälliga lokaler på Storgatan 30. Vad menar de? De bygger om här. Arbetsförmedlingen ligger på Storgatan nu. Okej. Okay. Sida 93. Skyltar på stan. B 3. Vad står det här? Stängt på grund av ombyggnad. Tillfälliga lokaler på Storgatan 30. Vad menar de? De bygger om här. Arbetsförmedlingen ligger på Storgatan nu. Okej. Okay. Arbetsförmedlingen... My first in instinct tell me that's a job agency. Arbet would be job. Vermetlingen, let's have a look see. Ar bet Vermetlingen. The employment agency, I was correct. <coughs> Arbet Vermetlingen. So Ward Central would be, again, Health Center. But I didn't quite catch the the majority of that, so... Sida 90. Ombyggnad. Tillfällig... Vad står det här? Stängt på grund av ombyggnad. Tillfälliga lokaler på Storgatan 30. So... Tillfälliga lokaler på Storgatan inget på grund av ombyggnad. So, once again, closed because of reconstruction. Tillfälliga lokaler på Storgatan 30. Tillfälliga... Vad med? Tillfälliga... 
Little collar. Let's have a look see. Till fell here. No collar. To failing premises. Ombyggnad. Tillfälliga lokaler på Storgatan 30. Vad menar de? So, let's see. Lokaler. To fill your premises. There's Storgatan 30, so that's the address. So I'm guessing what she's talking about is the fact that the building isn't really safe anymore in terms of construction, so... They are closing it and rebuilding it. De bygger om här. Arbetsförmedlingen ligger på Storgatan nu. So the job agency is at Storgatan right now. Okay. 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 Gotcha. <coughs> That was uh, quite an interesting conversation. Now, let's... Um, uh, what is datum e dog? What? Oh yeah, we just had uh just have to do this one. Listen up fräser. Vad betyder det? Vad betyder det? Jag förstår inte. Jag förstår inte. Jag förstår. Jag förstår. Hur uttalas det här? Hur uttalas det här? Kan du säga det en gång till? Kan du säga det en gång till? Vad står det här? Vad står det här? Vad menar de? Vad menar de? And that's it. <laughs> that is all. So it's a good thing that I uh, did B first. So, uh, vilken våningen bor hon på? Vilken våning bor hon på? Which floor is she living on? Now, for a Dutchman, seeing the word "warning" may th may seem like which house because residence "warning," "warning," but I actually remember that "warning" from like the very first time I did Swedish. "Warning" means floor. But first, the "warning" and also the fact that this is. Uh, Flapping about while I'm not touching it is because I have the fan on again because it's still scorchingly hot in here. So, welke woningen moet hun Paul? Also, this apparently doesn't have any uh, exercises in evening. So, sida 94. Vilken våning bor hun på? Lin, Pontus och Ida ska göra ett grupparbete tillsammans. De ska träffas hemma hos Ida. Det är första gången Lin och Pontus kommer hem till Ida. Kan jag stoppa det här? Lin, Pontus och Ida go uh, are are doing a group project together. En grupp 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 arbetar tillsammans. Uh, they are meeting up at Ida's place, at Ida's home. Hemma hos Ida. Uh, Ida's home. And it's the first time that Lynn and Pontus um, are coming to Ida's house. So, new word. Et group arbete is a group project. Till summons, together, treffas, meeting, fjärde. We haven't seen that yet. But I believe that is the fourth. And va is vad. Uh, we are hissing vad. Hmm. Fjärde våningen. Ja, okej. Okay. Där is va. Okay. Vi tar hissen va. I think hissen was the elevator. I know we haven't even heard it, but it's an elevator, yeah. So I guess that va in this case would mean like, right? We're taking the elevator, right? 
So let's listen. Vilken våning bor hon på? Vi ska se. Karlsson. Här på fjärde våningen. Vi tar hissen va? Okej. Okay. Indeed. <laughs> So let's do those exercises now because they do exist. Hur många våningar har huset? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10. Hur många längre het finns på andra våningen? Andra våningen. So that's the second story. The second floor. That will be two. How, uh, hur många längerheter? 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 I always say längerheter. Damn it. So how many apartments are there on the second floor? The word Finns, I've mentioned this in the uh, Duolingo uh, several times this week. The word Finns in Dutch can be described as bevins. How many... Uh, another way of translating the word fins in this particular sentence is how many apartments can you find on the second floor? That's pretty much the best way to think about the word fins. It has nothing to do with the Finnish people or with fishes, with fins and such. Right. På vilken våning bor familjen Svensson? The Svensson. The andra våningen. På andra våningen. Um, andra våningen. Uh, vilka bor på tredje våningen? Hermansson och Anquist. Son och uh, Almqvist. Yay! <laughs> we're done. Yay. Right. Next. Of course, we're going to be finishing off uh, chapter four today, and then we're already th two thirds of the way of last year for uh, for what my class did, like in the first year. Så, vilken våning har vi? Vad är det för datum idag? What is today's date? Sida 95. Vad är det för datum idag? När börjar kursen? Den 22 augusti. Vad är det för datum idag? Den 15. Oj, då börjar kursen nästa vecka. Första. Okej. När börjar kursen? When does the course start? Then uh, 22 August, right? När börjar kursen? Den 22 August. 22, ja, 22 August. Vad är det för datum idag? Den 15. Oj, då börjar kursen nästa vecka. Så so, on the second, 22nd of August, what's today's date? Or what is the date of today? It's the 15th. Oh, so the course starts ne next week. Then, of course, we have all of this, which we'll probably have to listen to. Första, andra, tredje, fjärde, femte, sjätte, sjunde. Mm, wow. Sjätte. Well, sjunde made, sjunde made sense to me, but sjätte for the sixth? That honestly doesn't make that much sense to me, but okay. Åttonde. Nionde. Tionde. Elfte. Tolfte. Trettonde. Fjortonde. Femtonde. Sextonde, sjuttonde, 
artonde, nittonde, tjugonde, tjugoförsta, tjugoandra, tjugotredje, tjugofjärde, tjugofemte, tjugosjätte, tjugosjunde, tjugoåttonde, tjugonionde, trettionde, trettioförsta. So in that case, um, it just says 30 or 30 or 20 and then this section again. That's the easy way to think about it. Then we have the months. Årets månader. Januari, februari, mars, april, maj, juni, juli. Augusti, september, oktober, november, december. Januari är den första månaden. Februari är den andra månaden. So the only two differences or three differences, sorry, with Dutch, mars, maj and augusti. The rest is all the same because we don't Uh, say Augusti, we say Augustus, like the emperor. And Mart and May. So January is the first uh, month, February is the second month, Monaden, the month, Monad, month. Okay, so January er den first. December er de tolf te tolf te oh oh hold on ah okay tolf normally is spelled with a v but when you say tolf te it's with an f march and the trade what trade Tredje. Oh, sorry. DJ. Juni är det... Sjätte. Sjätte. November är det... Elfte. Uh, so... Okay, so that is that exercise. Just saying, like, what is the month? Now, an autumn de itrede. The eighth of the third. Shut up, phone. Then autumn de then ot March. Then tionde i andra. So then tio febru febru bru vari. The third i nionde three nine. So let's first do that one. Artonde eighteen. First and then thirtyonde. That would be thirteen. Thirtyo. No, that would be the thirtieth, I believe. Yeah, thirty. In autumn. Eight. So, then, then, then. Three. Eighteen and thirty. Neon the September. The first of January and autumn the August. Why are for autumn e dog? The air. Uh, midsummer. 
The Ermitso Marie dog. Yes, I am recording this, I'm streaming this on Midsummer's Day, the 21st of the Huette. So, uh, then, then, uh, there you go. Yeah. You go. First, the Juni. Sugar first, uh, she first, uh, Juni. She first, first, uh, yeah. Cool. That's right, I am recording this on the longest day of the year. And in 2019, I believe. 2019, am I saying that correctly? I was in Hulefte uh, trying to celebrate uh, Midsummer, but two days before that I heard that my aunt had died and that her final wish for me was to continue on with my travel to at least experience Midsummer in Hulefte. And I wish I didn't listen because I just was walking around like, what the hell am I even doing here? And that was followed, uh, it was on a Friday and it was followed by 2200 kilometers of driving in three days time. But at least I was on time for the cremation on Tuesday. Yay. But luckily my most recent two trips to Scandinavia, nobody died that I care about. So yay, <laughs> let's, uh, let's keep that streak up, shall we? Anyway, let's uh, let's do the uh, evening art. So, listen to Oxek Utningtal. Första. Första. Andra. Andra. Tredje. Tredje. Fjärde. Fjärde. Femte. Femte. Sjätte. Sjätte. Sjunde. Sjunde. Åttonde. Åttonde. Nionde. Nionde. Tionde. Tionde. Excuse me. Elfte. Elfte. Tolfte. Tolfte. Trettonde. Trettonde. Fjortonde. Fjortonde. Femtonde. Femtonde. Sextonde. Sextonde. Sjuttonde. Sjuttonde. Artonde. Artonde. Nittonde. Nittonde. Tjugonde. Tjugonde. So with uh, basically from 13 till 19 on, you just add DE at the end of the, the number. And with uh, 20, Hugo, uh, you add NDE at the end. Tjugoförsta. Tjugoförsta. Tjugoandra. Tjugoandra. Tjugotredje. Tjugotredje. Tjugofjärde. Tjugofjärde. Tjugofjärde Tjugofemte Tjugofemte Tjugosjätte Tjugosjätte Tjugosjunde Tjugosjunde Tjugoåttonde Tjugoåttonde Tjugonionde Tjugonionde Trettionde Trettionde Trettiförsta Trettiförsta Let's see Andra That will be two Nionde That's nine Trettionde that would be 30 because trettonde would be 13 firsta there's one and fjortonde it's actually really good that they put both trettionde and trettonde in the same exercise because it's confusing but it's correct Atonde. Aton the uh that is eight and artonde is eighteen. Once again very good that they add both of them in the same exercise. Tolfte twelve Nitonde nineteenth Hutonde seventeen and Shuandra No Shuandra Oh, correct. 
Lyssna och välj datum. Andra i tredje. Andra i tredje. That will be the second of the third. March second. Fjärde i nionde. Fjärde i nionde. That's the fourth of September. Tredje i andra. The third of February, which is a day after my birthday. So my birthday is the andra i andra. Tredje i fjärde. Tredje i fjärde. The third of April. Femte i femte. Femte i femte. Five March. Five May. And elfte i fjärde. Elfte i fjärde. April 11th. And that is that one. Åttonde i sjunde. Åttonde i sjunde. The 8th of July. I have to work on that day. It's a Saturday and I normally don't work on Saturdays. Shut up phone. Tionde i elfte. Tionde i elfte. It's 10th of November. 24 i tolfte. 24 i tolfte. The day before Christmas. 13 i tolfte. The 13th of December. 17 i sjunde. 17 i sjunde. The 17th of July. 14 i åttonde. The 14th of August. And lastly, of this exercise, uh, why do we have? No, oh, it's just one. Uh, so the then hutonde i fjärde. That would be, or shuton shugonde. That would be the that one. The hutonde i shunde. Uh, the seventeenth of the seventh. The 14 i andra, also known as Valentine's Day. The 6 i sjunde. The 6th of July. The 30 i sjunde. The 13th of June. 13 i sjunde. Wow, okay. Um... Tretion, the, yeah, I have it correct. Tretion is the 13th, 30th, and the Treton is the 13th. They are all correct. And Nesta, we have the Festa in Nionde, the Nitonde, no, the Festa in Nionde, Nionde, and that one right there, done. Okay. <coughs> Ooh. We're talking about years all of a sudden. När är du född? When are you born? Oh, jag var född på en skalla vinternatt. Sida 97. När är du född? Mitt personnummer är 8103153534. Jag är född den 15 i tredje 81. Jag är född den 15 mars 1981. 1400. Wow, wow, wow. Den 15 i tredje 81. Oh. <laughs> the 15th of March 81, 1981. Was like Otio Ed. What? What year? What? What is that? But yeah, Nitton Hundra Otio Ed. This nineteen hundred eighty-one. Ja er fed means I am born. I was born. A fifty-three. 
1918. 2012. 2012. När är du född? Den tredje i tredje 1989. Den tredje i tredje 89. Den tredje mars 1989. Den tredje mars 89. Den andra februari 1984. Februari 2, 1984. Grattis på födelsedagen. Tack. Wait, what? What was the end? Grattis på födelsedagen. Uh, the... Sida 97. Nej. Grattis på födelsedagen. För... Tack. Grattis för... på födelsedagen. Grattis på födelsedagen. Tack. Okay, so gratis på födelsedagen is happy birthday. But they don't say that here. <laughs> oh yeah, here. Gratis på födelsedagen. And tack. Happy birthday. <laughs> so this would be um, andra i första uh, sexio tre. The 24 uh, 24 i tredje uh, 70 uh, uh, 78 uh, Forgive me the heat is getting to my brain it's it's not working out Så, so, nu är det fort. Om det är februari. Tio. Fyra. There. So, fit means born. Gratis is congratulations. So, gratis på fidelsdagen. It's basically congratulations on your birthday. And fidelsdag is birthday. Ja, suck not day. So that takes care of that. Let's go to the evening hour. So, hit on Hundra Otio Sex. That would be this one. Nitten Hundra Hitio Hu. That would be this one. Don't tell me that they are in the exactly right order. 1350, that's this one. They are totally in the right one, right? They are. Sugar Hundra Tre. Sugar Hundra Tre. Nitten Hundra Nitino Nio. Nitten Hundra Firtio Fem. Uh, ah, 2007 and 1992. 1992. Very ortal. Why does it do that? Fell. Thank you. Okay, so. 1658. 58. I'm technically just listening to the last two. <laughs> 1718. 
1718. 17. Ja. Det är 1792. 1792. Det är 1809. 1809. 1865. 1865. 1918. 1918. There you go. And. No, never mind that. It's. 1718. 1718. 1718. 1865. 1865. 1921. 1921. 1989. 89. 1991. 91. Once again, I'm on, basically only listening to the last two. <laughs> 2001. 2001. That's the gift. There we go. Nope. In the hall. Ah, you suck, not day. Varför kommer du inte? Jag väntar på dig, Emil. Why aren't you coming? I'm waiting for you, Emil. Har du Tinas nummer? Jag behöver prata med henne, Kalle. Well, actually, just listen to them. Sida 98. Jag saknar dig. Hanna, varför kommer du inte? Jag väntar på dig, Emil. Peter. Har du Tinas nummer? Jag behöver prata med henne. Kalle. Do you have Tinas nummer? I need to talk to her. Kalle. Linda, jag saknar dig. Puss H. I'm looking for you. Puss H. Puss is actually kiss. Sack not. Sack not. Missing. Oh. Oh. Because, of course. Circuit is searching. Looking for. I forgot that. My mistake. So, Sack not day. I miss you. Well, if you miss her, you should learn to aim better. Silly. <laughs> okay, moving on. Karin, vill du äta lunch med mig idag? Ring mig på mobilen. Kram Linda. Karin, do you want to eat lunch with me today? Call me on my mobile. Hug Linda. Kram means hug. Patrick, lycka till idag. Jag tänker på dig, mamma. Lycka till idag. I think that means good luck. Let's look it up. Lycka till. Good luck. So, good luck today. I'm thinking about you, mamma. Oh, how cute. Hello, Sweden official. I must be absolutely butchering your language. I know that, but welcome. <clears throat> but at least I'm trying. Uh, so yeah, so 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 we have to. Uh, well, suck not. We just learned that missing. Verfar is why. Et nummer is. Number, or in this case, phone number. Prata, need to talk to her. Henne, her. And puss, kiss. Will, will, or do you want. And kram, is a hug. Lika till. 
of course um good luck and then tanker a tanker so i'm thinking and tanker pull means thinking about uh, right so now will linda treffa karin when does linda want to meet karin e dog <laughs> why you're a meal Emil Venta på Hanna. He's waiting for Hanna. Vem behöver Kalla tala med? Who does Kalla need to talk to? Kalla behöver prata med Tina. Vem skriver till Linda, tror du? Vem skriver till Linda. Uh, Lindas man. <laughs> Jag tror du means do you think. So who is Linda writing to? Do you think? Vad ska Patrick göra idag tror du? Well, what is she going to do today? Han går i skolan. Kanske. He's going to school. Oh, personliga pronomen. Jag and me. So this is... Um, do they... And han is honom, and hon is henne. I skrive for me or they. We say it, me or they. Ah, we write, Mick and dig, and we say me and they. <laughs> ja, er hemma i kväll. Ringer du till me? Då Emil väntar på Hanna. Han skriker ett sms till henne. Henne. Jag talar med dig. Varför lyssnar du inte på mig? Jag kommer imorgon. Väntar du på mig? mig. Jesus, really? Är du hemma ikväll? Jag ringer till dig. Klockan sju. Are you home tonight? I'll phone you at seven. Uh, kan du, homa, uh, kan du kom, komma hit? Jag saknar dig. Hon skriver till Patrick. Hon tänker på... Honom. Uh, moving on, so. Hon saknar honom, hon saknar inte henne. Han saknar inte henne. So we have to write these in the correct words. Ooh. Ah, yeah, hon tittar på dig. He is looking at you. Uh, ja, tanker på dig. I'm thinking about you. Vi frågar. Frågar. Honom. We're asking him. Jag. Yes. Var, var, dig. I'm answering you. Uh, han talar med henne. He's talking to her. 
Uh, um, er, oh, uh, <laughs> inte gift med henne. Gift med henne. He is married to her. Ja. Ro. Ja. Inte honom. Because we just saw that. Ja, frågar inte. Honom. Um, han. Ringer. Inte. Till. Mig. Cool. Oh, just a second. My neck. My back. And you know the rest of the song. Evening on. We're almost done. Uh, ja, hemma i morgon ring till mig. Han heter Peter, hon pratar med honom. Jag talar med dig, lyssna på mig. Kom nu, jag väntar på dig. Jag ringer Hanna, jag vill tala med henne. Kom on, henne. Hon heter Anna, Peter är gift med henne. Det skulle också. Fun fact, this sentence could also be Peter är uh, gift med dig. Because, well, she's Anna. But Peter is married to you. <laughs> Lyssna på mig, jag pratar med dig. <laughs> Lyssna på mig, jag pratar med mig. <laughs> I'm talking to myself, listen to me. <laughs> uh, hon tankar på Emil, hon gillar honom. She think she's thinking about Emil, she likes him. And the Utal. Oh, oh, great! Do we have to do that now? Eh, don't want to. Don't want to, but I'm gonna do it anyway. In the hall, let's finish this, and then we'll do that one and that one. Sidan 101. Utal. I U. Dika. Duka. Lira. Lura. U, O, mur, mor, mus, mos, O, O, mor, mor, stol, stål, O, A, låta, lata, våra, vara. Lång vokal och lång konsonant. Ful, full. Duga, dugga. Våt, vått. Hål, håll. Are you still following it? I'm not. <laughs> Don't care. Anyway, let's uh, finish it off here. Uh, Listen to me. Long of color. Dyka, duka. Dyka, duka. Lyra, lura. Lyra, lura. Mur, mor. Myr, mor. Hus, hos. Hus, hos. Mor, mor. Mor, mor. Stol, stål. Stol, stål. Låta, lata. Låta, lata. Våra. Vara. 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 Ful. Ful. That's a single L. Full. F uh, full. Full. 
Duga. Duga. That's a single G. Duga. Duga. Double G. Double jizzle. <laughs> Vot. Vot. Single T. Vot. Vot. And last but not least. Hall. 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 Done! Done! We have completed chapter four. Next time. Uh, sh let's have a look. Welcome all uh, multi that uh, at the dome. Sibylla is like a snack house, snack bar. So snacks, barbecue. Don't know what the heck that is. Vilke land er det? Skulle det kunna vara det hemland? Varför, varför inte? Skulle det kunna vara ditt hemland? Mm. I'm not gonna be bothered with this, honestly. Next week we're continuing with this. Let's watch the movies and be done with tonight. Now I'm gonna close off my... Book cam, because we don't need that anymore. I'm gonna close off the program of my book cam, because I don't need that anymore. And in the hall, we've seen that last time. Let's do the vague beschrijving or vague beschrijving or. Ursäkta, för jag frågar så. Ja. Var ligger stora torget? Du går gatan rakt fram. Och sen ligger Stora torget på höger sida. Tack så mycket. Det var så lite så. Uh, so we should have done this last week actually. So we're, we're definitely gonna see this again. So go straight ahead till höger sidan. Ursäkta mig, kan du hjälpa mig? Ja visst. Var ligger resecentrum? Går den här gatan rakt fram? This centrum ligger on the left side. Okay. Thanks so much. So, the race center the, is on the left side. Ursäkta, vet du var restaurangen Bistro ligger? Ja, på Storgatan. Ta åt till vänster där framme i trafikljusen. Det är Storgatan, där ser du restaurangen. Tack så mycket, det är nyare så jag hittar inte så bra. Ja, jag förstår. Hoppas du hittar. Oh, she likes him, she likes him. You can see that right away. She's like, oh, I'm so happy you talked to me. <coughs> so yeah, it's, oh. På västern eller på höger? Ursäkta, var ligger Vasaskolan? På nästa gata till höger. Vasaskolan ligger på höger sidan. Tack så mycket. Höger sidan, right and on the right. En gång till. We had that before. So, um, quickly going back to it. Uh, no, that was the this one. Um, can you say that? Uh, can you say that? En gång till. <laughs> you say that one more time. Ursäkta, får jag fråga en sak? Du går gatan rakt fram och sen ligger Stora torget på höger sida. Tack så mycket. So I'll go straight ahead on this route and you'll find it on the right side. Det var så lite så. Det var så lite så. It's no problem. Ursäkta mig, kan du hjälpa mig? I'm sorry, but can you help me? Yeah, this. Yeah, sure. 
Var ligger resecentrum? Where is the uh, travel agency? That's the word I was looking for, travel agency. Går den här gatan rakt fram, resecentrum ligger på vänster sida. It's on the left side. Go straight ahead in this street and it's on the left side. Det är inte långt bort. It's not a long walk. Tack så mycket. Ursäkta, vet du var restaurangen Bistro ligger? Do you know where restaurant Bistro is? Vet du var? Ja, på Storgatan. Ta till vänster där framme vid trafikljusen. Framme till trafikljusen. Ta till vänster, så so go left at the traffic lights. Det är Storgatan. Där ser du restaurangen. So that's the Big, big street and you'll see the restaurants. Thank you so much. I'm new here, so I hate them so bad. I'm new here, so... Uh, he thought it was finding, right? Well, I can't really find it well. But she's not saying on which side of the street it is. I understand. I hope I see it I understand. Hope you find it. So she didn't say on which side of the street it was. Bad girl. So where's the Vasa school? So go go to the right of the street, and the school is on the right side. So we should have done this last week. That's a good exercise. Utningstalen. Du, vad gör du den 24 september? Kan vi ses då? 24 september? Jag ska kolla. Nej, jag kan inte. Jag är i Malmö. Den 3 oktober då? Eh, nu ska vi se. Ja, då är jag hemma. Det går bra. Men jättebra. Ska vi boka in det? Kanske klockan 11. Går det bra? Ja, 11 blir bra. Vad gör du den 24 september? Kan vi ses då? What are you doing on the 24th of September? Can we see each other then? I shall have a look. Den tredje oktober. The third of October then. Då är hemma. Det går. Then I'm home. That works. That goes well. That that'll work. Klockan 11, går det bra? 11 o'clock, will that, will that do? Is that good? Ja, 11 blir bra. Ja, yeah, 11 is good. Tack så mycket. Och vi ses nästa vecka. För det första part, kapitel 5. Jag heter Paul, tack så mycket och vi ses nästa veckan. Bye bye. Hej då!